Union budget has been an integral part of India's economic journey since independence and has contributed significantly to well-being of the citizens and overall development of the country. As the custodian of the public resources, the focus of the budget in these 75 years has been mirroring the evolving role of the Union of India as being protective, productive and redistributive. This journey started with the presentation of the first budget of the free and independent India by Sri R. K. Shanmukham Chetty on 26 November 1947 in the Constituent Assembly of India. The total estimated expenditure for the 7.5 months from the 15th August was about 197 crore rupees which in today's prices would be around 16,000 crore rupees. The second major milestone in the journey was the first budget of the Republic of India, presented by Sri John Mathai on 28th February 1950. It announced the proposal to request the House to set up the Estimates Committee and also announced the decision to set up the Planning Commission. The third major milestone was the first budget in the elected Parliament, on 23rd May 1952 by Sri C.D. Deshmukh. Sri Morarji Desai presented 10 union budgets, most by any finance minister till date. The practice in almost first five decades was to present the union budget in the evening at 5 p.m. That practice was changed in the year 1999-2000 to 11 a.m. The journey so far had 76 regular budgets, 14 interim budgets, 4 special budgets. In the initial years after the independence, the focus was on rehabilitation of refugees and defence. In the first decade of 1950s, the focus was on the planned economy. In the next decade of 1960s, Green Revolution and defence occupied the focus. Nationalisation was the focus in the decade of 1970s. Communication through expansion of telecom and television occupied the attention in 1980s. The next decade of 1990s saw the budget focusing on economic liberalization. The first decade of the current century focused on infrastructure, starting with the golden quadrilateral. The second decade of the current century focused on people orientation and efficient delivery of services. The budgets of the current decade focused on the digital economy and energy transition. The latest milestone is the budget presented during the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav period on 1st February 2022. We are marking Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav and have entered into Amrit Kal, the 25-year-long lead-up to India at 100. The scope of the budget has also changed over the years. For almost 70 years, railway budgets were presented separately. The first railway budget of independent India was presented by Sri John Mathai on 20th November 1947. In the year 2017-18, the union budget subsumed the railway budget to bring the railways to the centre stage of government's fiscal policy and would facilitate multi-model transport planning between railways, highways and inland waterways. The full year budgets used to be presented on the last working day of February. That practice was changed in the year 2017 to present the budget on 1st February to enable ministries and departments to operationalize all schemes right from the first day of financial year. Traditionally, the budget documents used to be presented in paper form. Those set of documents were carried in large bundles. Since 2021-22, the budget papers are presented in digital form. For enhancing access to the documents by the general public, an app was launched in the same year. In the 75 years of journey, some landmark budgets stand out.
we celebrate Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, commemorating 75 glorious years of independence. We salute the brilliance of people behind the budget making. ये बजे अर्थव्यवस्था को मजबूती देने के साथ ही सामान्य मानवी के लिए अनेक नए अवसर बनाए. The successive budgets. The lifeline of nation's progress are the torchbearers that have scripted the growth story of our nation with great determination to become Atmanirbhar.